Well, congratulations, everybody. That was a fantastic production. Um, I've, I've seen it before in bits and pieces, and this is my first time to see it all the way through, and it's just magical. Congratulations, everybody. That's, that is wonderful. Um, let's give everybody just a few more minutes to, um, to join us. Uh, there were a lot of people who were watching the video live, uh, a little over 50 last time I checked. So uh, hopefully a lot of them will be transitioning over to our live Q&A, so we'll give them a second or two. Um, so we have a couple of celebrity guests. I see Mr. Thomas is here. Um, that was unbelievable. <laughs> thank you. Absolutely unbelievable. Thank you. Um, all credit to the teachers and the students on this production. This was an amazing, amazing thing. And I want to introduce um, Catherine Huber and Janelle Mercalo first um, and have you guys introduce um, the students that are with us today. Uh, and then we'll open the floor up to questions. I got so excited I quit the meet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the filmmakers um, are Morgan Starnes, Rowan Kelly, and Bennett Chess. And I'll let Hello. Hello. And Janelle, who are the dancers that are with us tonight? So we have here tonight um, Peyton and Meredith, and I saw Ryan. People are starting to disappear. Um, I think Camilla should be here soon too. Um, they might be popping in and out. Okay. Um, well, what I thought I'd do is um, remind everybody uh, just to mute your microphones unless you're speaking and that helps us with the sound because there are quite a few people joining us tonight. Um, and if you have questions, type them in the chat and I'll uh, pass those questions along to the cast and crew as we go. But as a great way to get started, I thought I would ask, and I don't know who to address this question to because I, I don't remember, how did this idea get started? Who was the first person who said, let's do Nutcracker and film the entire thing in front of a green screen and, and make it a movie? Like, how did that get, how, how did that get started? Shall I take this, Janelle? So um, over the summer, uh, our family got really into Hamilton. <laughs> and I was just like, you know, I mean, I, in the summer, you know, we had, we were kind of new to COVID really. <laughs> uh, and I was, I was thinking about the students I was going to have in, in this class in Topics and New Media Honors. And I knew the talent I had. And I um, also have a long history with Janelle and the Nutcracker, um, having worked with her um, like on the posters and uh, with the dancers. And then my, my kids have all been in it and I've been in it. And it's a, it's a project um, that I really love, that I, I feel like is, is such an important thing for our community, for the arts. Um, and it's a, a wonderful way for us to connect as a school family, like all the levels, all the, you know, different parts of the arts. And um, it's something I've always just loved so much. And I just couldn't imagine a year without it. Um, and so I did text Janelle <laughs> and say like, isn't there some way we can do this? Um, and immediately she responded like, let's video chat. So um, I'll let you speak now, Janelle. Um, yeah, I, I really loved this project, and uh, I love that Catherine was like, we should, we can do it, we could do it, and the filmmakers were coming in from the first week of school, really, and already, I mean, before school even started, they were, they were working on it and brainstorming, and anything was possible. They would always be like, yeah, yeah, we could do that, we could do that, we could do that, and I'm like, but could we really? <laughs> and they say, yes, we can, um, and I'm just so blown away. Like, when I see the final product, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of my dancers. They did such a good job, but, you know, seeing the filmmakers do this backside work is just, I mean, it's, it's just unbelievable to see, you know, how they brought it all together. It's unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Thomas has a question, which is uh, a great question. I don't know if anyone's done the math on this. How many hours did it take to rehearse and perform, film, and edit this production? Any guess on total number of hours? Shall we start with rehearsing? Yeah. Uh, what's, That's a lot. Well, and Janelle, describe the rehearsal process to us. How did you guys rehearse this with the uh, COVID restrictions? Well, let me throw it out to one of my students. Um, I'm going to throw it out to Peyton because Peyton was a student dancer and a student choreographer. Um, so, um, at least like I created, um, the Dewdrop, uh, who, uh, Meredith played and Waltz the Flowers. And I know for me, I spent like at least two hours creating the dance 
itself. And then teaching it to her was every Wednesday for one hour. And I know people who had extra parts as well were doing um, one hour um, to an hour and a half on Wednesdays, depending on how much they had. And um, (laughs) sorry, my sister just came in my room. But um, (laughs) and um, we also rehearsed in class um, a lot. So... (laughs) And uh, Morgan, talk to me about the filmmaking. Uh, any guess of the total number of hours spent filming and editing? Um, well, starting with filming, because that's one thing. Um, filming, we did one Saturday from eight to like five. And then we did after school on a Tuesday from three till like five or six. And then we did the next Wednesday from eight to like us three were there with you, Mr. Renhouse, until like six something late so like more than 48 hours uh you know were spent uh collecting all the materials setting up the giant green screen all over the gym um and then filming everything and then moving rowan's ginormous camera rig on and off of the even more ginormous tripod to get the different close-ups to make sure we had all the wide angles um and for me uh that i've been involved in the nutcracker since eighth grade um like knowing knowing the dance but um getting to and and now be a part of the behind the scenes in a very different way um i think was really 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 exciting and also like really hard uh i really underestimated how hard it was going to be in the sense that like when, when it's the unknown when we're in the planning phase i'm like guys like we might need to rein it in a little bit here um but once we get going and then once I'm like, oh, shoot, like this is happening and we're doing this, you know, that's when it's like, oh, so editing hours. I mean, when did we start? November what? Until the wee hours of last night at right. least two or three a day, every day for two or three months. I, I think if we tallied up the total number of uh, rehearsal hours, filming hours, editing hours, it would be in the hundreds. Right. And we're talking easily. <laughs> One to two hundred hours, I would think. <laughs> Catherine's it's laughing at me. Editing is easily, easily in the hundreds, like because <laughs> we were fortunate enough to have our filmmaking class as the last period of the day. So on the virtual days, we would meet starting at around two, and usually we would stay on and keep working together until like five or six um, on those Tuesdays and Thursdays. So yeah, we worked a lot. So Rowan, we have a question here about the dollhouse and some of those scenes that were filmed that way. Can you walk us through that process? Cause I know we used a special lens for that. Yes, I totally can. Um, so to film, we used um, my black magic cinema camera uh, because we felt it could produce a nice image. And uh, we had this idea where they would be kind of within uh, like a dollhouse uh, and the trick was figuring out, like, one, how to get them in there and then how to do some of these kind of like the opening shot um, and like the spinning dollhouse shot. And to do that, um, I think somebody donated a, uh, a dollhouse uh, and we use that dollhouse. And what we did is uh, for the camera, normally we have these big uh, prime lenses, but uh, we ended up renting this. I've always wanted to use them for a long time. Yeah, it's like this probe lens. It's like a really long lens that basically replicates a, a 25 millimeter um, regular lens, but on a micro scale. So essentially you get this really strange um, kind of view where it looks like, you know, the cameraman is shrunk down um, and just placed there to record. And, and it was, and so that's how we did, you know, like the opening shot uh, and a lot of stuff. And uh, it was uh, it was crazy to be able to try out that lens. So that's that's how we did a lot of those close ups and stuff like that. Yeah. OK, so we have a question coming in um, asking, did all of the dancers have ballet experience prior to coming to Flint Hill? Uh, so who can take that question for me, Janelle? Um, I would say most do, but but some have have limited. So it 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 varies greatly. So some will have a lot of ballet experience, and some are 
very new to it. I, I'm really proud of uh, my two freshmen who mostly rehearsed completely virtual, the two birds. And they were just so wonderful and, and so passionate and really focused in. And it was hard to learn choreography via Google Meet and get very little rehearsal together. And they really, they stepped it up, which was really great. So I wanted to ask one of the dancers um, about, uh, well, let's start with Meredith. What was it like seeing the film for the first time? Because when you guys filmed it, all you could see was the camera and the green screen. Um, what was your reaction to seeing the finished product? Um, for me, it was really surprising. I knew that the filmmaking crew would do really well, but um, they did really well. Like, I don't know how to put it any other way. It was really cool seeing all the dances sort of go in their, um, their locations, like having the trees, having the dollhouse. Um, I don't know. It was just really surprising. It made me really happy. It made me really proud. So, yeah. Wonderful. Um, any other questions? I'm not seeing any other ones come through, but, um, Wonderful. Okay, I wanted to ask anyone else that was participating, what was the most challenging aspect of, of the production? Uh, dancer or filmmaker can answer that one, anybody? Uh, I, can, I can answer that one. Um, I think probably since I, I didn't really have any experience working in After Effects, which is what we use to edit the, uh, like all the green screens and everything. And so I had to learn pretty much a new software from from pretty minimum, like the minimum amount of knowledge I, someone could have. Uh, but I, Rowan and Morgan and Mrs. Huber were all really great, uh, along with the internet, helping me out there. Uh, that was one of the neatest things was um, the meets where it, the four of us would be together, uh, you know, the filmmakers and me, and 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 I was helping n not very much, but listening to them kind of talk each other through how to solve problems was just just awesome. And you would think like because they're all working, and I'm just watching them work, <laughs> you could see their faces, and you would think they weren't listening to each other maybe because they were so like you know narrowed in on what they were working on. And then, the, then no, they'd answer each other and, you know, they'd still be able to kind of have conversations and talk about the problems and how to solve the problems um, together. And it was, it, it was just really, they're just a great team. I feel so thankful for this, these three kids. They're just awesome. And um, I can't wait to see what they do next. Peyton, you had a hand up. And also, Peyton, I should let you know, one of your fans has asked a question in the chat um, as to what your favorite part was of the production. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, I think one of the hardest parts about filming um, was dancing in such like a tight space. Um, and then like you'd be dancing, then there'd be like, you're in a wall. Like they yell at you, just like, you're in a wall. And then you're like, shoot. <laughs> so I think that was really tough. And Hudson, replying to your question, my favorite part of the production was when you died and I was crying over your dead body. <laughs> oh, so, crying. Oh, so that's so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I love that. And I, I echo what Miss Huber said about um, the problem solving, the creative problem solving that went on as I was able to watch uh, filming, um, to watch three filmmakers, uh, you know, sit there with their hands on their chin, scratching and say, well, what if we tried this? Or this isn't working, how about that? Or the idea that we had to get Peyton um, asleep on the couch that we ran out to the lobby, uh, we can say this now that it's over, and stole a bench, uh, covered it with green fabric so that she could have something elevated to lay on. Um, and then we tried to you know, return it so that no one noticed. But, um, but those are things that came up on the day of filming, you know, creative solutions where we used what we had in front of us um, to solve those kind of problems. Um, so we have another question about um, capturing the various stage angles of performance. That's something I wanted to ask the filmmakers about because with green screen, there's not a whole lot of work you can do with angles. And how did you guys get different perspectives and different points of view? Um, I just wanted to say, first of all, building off the last thing, shout out to all the dancers because like, it's so hard to imagine performing, like, like 
performing is about bright eyes and big smiles. Of course, not with a mask, but like choosing, and especially for dancing when they're spinning and they're they're getting dizzy. And it's it's really important to have an audience um, for all of the reasons. And the fact that us, everyone, the BTS and the the on the scene, like we we really built all of it out of literally nothing. Uh, the the green fabric in the gym and the dancers being able to imagine themselves in that world and then let us be able to put them in that. Um, it was it was crazy that that came through. And on the um, the point about the angles is you had like we basically made a, like a like a like a this shape. So we had the green screen on the wall and the green screen on the floor so they could have their feet. And we wanted to mix, keep that theatrical element, um, make it feel like a stage with the wings um, being the trees, like a stage wing so they could have somewhere to appear on and off um, and have them flow in and out and have seamless people that were filmed on completely different days look like they were following each other in one dance. And then I'll also let Rowan speak on this, um, but in terms of the angles, like there was only so far we could go before their hand was not on the green and we couldn't use that. And there were a few cuts where like, this is the green screen and their fingers are just like barely on there. So it was a, um, it was a bargain every time of how far we can go to make it look different and interesting. But we also have to keep them on the green. Um, and that was the hardest part, like for the dancers, like this, you can only dance in this 10 foot wide space and we can only shoot with this 20 foot wide angle. So how are we going to make it look epic? But it happened somehow. Yeah, there were a few things. If you look at some of the behind the scenes uh, photos, there's the original width of the green screen. And then there's things that were added to the side and then things that were added to the side again, as we realized that we might, you know, catch an angle where someone's hand might be out of the green. That was, that was really amazing. Okay, so one of the other questions is coming from a first grade Husky who would like to know, how did you make the ballerina small? Uh, Rowan, can you take that one yeah. for us? Yeah, I can speak on it. Um, so that's kind of it's it's kind of the nice thing about working with green screen um, is that we had to film everyone on separate layers. Uh, so early on, we knew that um, you know we were going to shrink this person down, you know, uh, and that's quite easy to do if they're on a green screen, because you just uh, key them out. And then in the application, you just dial them down until they're really small. Uh, then then come some of the complicated things uh, like tracking it um, and all that. But yeah, that's pretty much how we did it. We, we shot there on the day, got the footage, um, did all the fancy green screen effects, and then just shrunk them down. And if there are other uh, young Huskies on the call, just want to briefly explain that the green screen is filming things on a green background and telling the computer to erase everything that is green and replace it with a different background. Uh, and when you do that, you can replace it with a background that's big or small, making the subject look bigger or smaller than uh, they need them to. One of, one of my favorite bits is the, um, the hand, having the ballerina you know, in the hand and, and then on the ground. And there's some amazing work done there that's, that's really incredible. Um, any other questions from, from the group at this point? Um, most of the people on this call have homework to do, so I want to be uh, cognizant of their time. Um, and I do want to do one more thing before we go. Uh, very little of this project is traditionally theatrical. Um, I would like to do one traditionally theatrical thing right now. And if everyone could unmute your microphone and give the dancers and the filmmakers and their teachers a big round of applause, if you could do that now, I think they would really appreciate that. So, Great job. Congratulations again to everybody. Um, I know this will be posted on our YouTube channel, um, and I believe this Q&A will also be posted there as well. So uh, keep an eye out on your email and on social media for more news about Nutcracker and um, all the exciting things that Fine Arts is doing that's coming up next. Uh, thank you all so much, and good night. Thank you, James. Thanks, everybody. Great night. Unbelievable. Good job, guys. Thanks, Thanks everybody.